Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on Anubhav Learning Series. In this series of videos, we are learning how to build CAP and UI5 applications. So, so far, many of you have come back to me with a question, Anubhav, that whenever we are upgrading our CDS engine to build CAP application or UI5 tailing to build our UI5 applications in the VS Code tool, we are facing a weird problem with the node versions. So SAP is regularly publishing the latest release of command live interface for CAP as well as the UI5 tooling. And these versions, latest versions are compatible with latest node version. So as a developer, it is also important to keep ourselves up to date with the latest node versions. So what is the best and most easiest way to keep our node versions up to date according to the tooling? So today I am here with a practical use case for all of you to showcase how quickly and easily as a developer, you can upgrade and update your node version conveniently through command line itself. So let's get into system. To understand the issue, I will go to my command prompt and I will just uh, go and check the version of the SAP uh, CLI. So let me open the command prompt. And recently I've installed the SAP UI5 CLI. And after installing, if I just check the help, I get this nice message or a warning that you are using version 18 for Node.js and the required version is greater than 20.11 or greater than 22. The similar kind of issues or warnings might come when you are using outdated or non-compatible Node versions with the cloud application programming model. So what is the best way to overcome these kind of issues? So for that, I would want to introduce to you the concept of the NVM node version manager, which is also a node module. I will give the link in the description of this video from where you can download this exe file of node version manager. And after download, you can install it in your laptop. So let me install this now at front of you, the node version manager or NVM tool, which quickly helps you and me and us as a developer to update and upgrade our node versions with just command line interface. So I'll just say yes, please update that. And that's it. Now you need to close your command prompt and reopen to see if the NVM got installed or not properly in your laptop. So that is the second step you need to do. And we will type the command NVM dash dash help. And you can still see that it is saying that it's not a package we are looking for. So the NVN command is not recognized perhaps. So what we need to do, we need to go to the systems environment variable, edit system environment variable, go for environment variable settings. And under the path section, we are going to go back and say edit to actually add the path of our NVM directory. So NVM got installed over here in my laptop in my C drive users app data roaming folder. So I copy that address and add that over here as an entry. Very important. So that system can recognize the NVM command properly. And now I close my command prompt and restart my command prompt again to check if now this time system B is able to find my NVM command or not. So now let's type again NVM dash dash help. And there you go. So I've got here the NVM command and it's showing the version as well. So we can just utilize the available node versions in my laptop. We can switch the versions. We can download the new version. Yes, all that we can do. So let's see what are the versions currently available in my laptop, my local machine for node. So I say NVM and you can see here the command is NVM list command perhaps to list all the available versions in my laptop. And there's this 18 version which I'm currently using. So now I'll say NVM use 20.11.0 and it says it is not installed. So what we can do, we can ask system to download this node version in our laptop. So you can see there are different different commands. So NVM install and the version. So let's say NVM install. Please download wherever it is the node version 20 in my laptop. Wow. So now what it is doing, it's contacting the node official website to download the latest version or the version which I mentioned there and we have got here. So if I say NVM list again, the list command, 
to see, see the list, you can see I have got now two versions in my laptop and currently it is using version 18. So I'm going to switch to the version 20. So I will say NVM use 20.11.0. So now it will switch my version and give me a kind of a confirmation box. I confirmed it and now we switch to version 20. Wow, how convenient that was. You don't have to play with a lot of system variables, a lot of websites and downloading the source code and downloading the version, configure that. You don't have to do all that. And if I go back to say UI5 uh, help, you will see the UI5 CLI and voila, there you go. This time the warning which was coming for UI5 CLI is gone. All thanks to the latest node version which I'm which I'm getting it. So please check the description of this video. I hope you enjoyed this session. If you like my work, please like, share and subscribe this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can also install the NVM tool. It's a very lightweight tool to help you conveniently manage the node version and keep your laptop up, up to date with the required node version for all these toolings we are using as a application developer to build Capm as well as Fury applications. Thank you once again for your time watching this video. See you in the next episode. Till then, code well. Goodbye.